Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we've got a Galaxy Tab 3 10.1. This is the GT P5210. And the customer uh, attempted a repair on their own and ended up breaking off the battery connector off of the main board. So this, this video is basically start to finish. There are a few places in there that uh, sort of got skipped over a little bit because I don't have a microscope camera yet. So we're going to do the best we can with my phone. Bear with me. I apologize in advance because I know there are going to be some annoying spots here with the camera. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we've got the back off. We're going to disconnect our cables. We're going to take these screws out and get the battery out of our way. And we're going to take the motherboard out. And I'll show. remove those and uh, it's a little fuzzy it's not cooperating well today um, trying to get it focused but uh, we'll come back and show I'm going to try to do as much of this as I can on camera and what I'm not able to do on camera I will simply uh, show you under the microscope the best I can what we did step by step so we went ahead and tend the four remaining pads we're gonna we managed to uh, pull this uh, post out um, here with I put the two tiles on either side there uh, not for any particular reason except that it seemed to dull the, the, the glare off of the metal it seemed to help the lighting a little bit but I ended up uh, burning one of them so uh, there's the one post so I ended up burning the one on the right there so um, I actually just took them away and mounted it in a vise
flipped the board over and I'm just trying to get the last little bit of that leftover solder out of those holes. Anyway, you can see the coppers exposed on the ends of the traces there now. So we're going to go ahead and tin those up now with some solder. There's what they look like after they've been tinned. Now that we got some fresh solder on the ends of those, we're going to go ahead and get our jumpers in position. Okay, so now we've got our jumpers connected and in position. We're going to go ahead and put the connector on and I'll show what the jumpers look like once they've been soldered on to the new connector. So the new connector's in place. There's our jumpers running over to the two posts that they correspond with. We could have even run a jumper straight to the component, but no need, and we have plenty of trace left over there. There's a little bit closer view. And again, here's what it looks like outside of the microscope. Just get a few different angles here. So you can see the new connectors in place. All the legs have been soldered in. And the two jumpers are, are now added and soldered in. And the back side looks good as well. And then uh, we are going to put a little bit of, um, well, first we're going to test it so we can make sure everything works. And uh, I expect it will. Anyway, um, we're also going to put a little bit of uh, sort of protective coating uh, um, on the, uh, the two jumpers. And I'll show that once we get to that point just to make sure that there's no chance of anything shorting out. So we're gonna go ahead and put the screw in here for the motherboard. Get the battery, get it in place. We're gonna go ahead and put all the screws in because I know this is gonna work, so no big deal. We're going to test it regardless, but I'm putting the screws in because 
I'm sure this is going to be fine. Customer is going to be very happy because she actually brought me three of these. Uh, this one just had the broken battery connector. I don't remember what the other two. Something else was wrong with the other two. I think one of them. Then I'll show one more up close shot through the capped on tape. You can see the uh, the protective coating for the two jumpers capped on tape. So we're in good shape. We are good to go. I'm gonna put the back back on. We're just gonna plug it back in, turn it on. And I got the little gap there on the right hand side. I'll spot that in a minute and snap that back into place. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. And um, I'm kind of new to the, to the video routine here. So we're at 44% uh, the time. The time's actually... Um, showing up two different places uh, an hour off just checking all the buttons making sure everything is functional um, so we're at 44 percent it says 659 on the left there 559 in the top right corner so we're going to adjust the time uh, here get that fixed central time because we are in Texas now that fixed that now oh, the time matches in both spots all the buttons are working we're at 44 percent uh, six o'clock looks like a minute later we got up to 45 percent and everything's charging thanks for watching guys